What's up guys, this is Josh back with Daddy Disc Golf, and today we're going to be reviewing the latest mid-range from MVP Disc Sports, it's the Neutron Vertex. Now I have this disc in 176, and the first time uh, this came out was in the MVP Circuit event. I got one from the Space Race, well this is actually my wife Casey's from the Space Race. We got that at Gyropalooza, and this one was mine. Hers is a 170, mine's a 177, and here's one from the Circuit event, I believe that's 177 as well. That red arrow shows you where the basket's at. Now, start off here, just wanted to show you some uh, shots where I'm throwing it on a little bit of a hyzer. Um, I mean, if you throw this disc on a hyzer, it'll flip up flat. Depending on how much power you put into it, it'll turn. And then, um, you know, if you don't get on it too much, it'll definitely fade back here at the end. But do keep in mind, if you crank on this thing, it's going to turn over. Um, so, if you're a beginner player, you know, getting into the sport, or even looking for that disc, you can have a nice, easy, steady turnover shot out of the bag this vertex will definitely do it for you great understable mid-range throw this 177 from the mvp versus axiom circuit event again just smooth steady straight shots um great disc for lower powered throws it was really helping me out with my form and reminded me you know how to throw a disc golf disc just to get it to go nice and straight the glide was incredible um, feels very similar in the hand to a theory so if you ever held a theory it's going to feel pretty similar, but I will definitely go out and say that it's, uh, in my opinion, it's more understable than the theory, at least the one I bagged. Also want to add that I was getting a lot of success adding some height to this vertex. Um, if you give it enough height, it gives it more room to turn and then fade back successfully. This one actually draws chains. Ah, so close. I wanted that one. And lastly, this disc loves the Anheuser, obviously. Um, if you need that Anheuser approach shot, the Vertex will definitely be the one to stay over for you and hold that line the entire time. Again, add some height to it. You'll have a lot of great success as well. Tommy here throwing some high Anheuser shots. Great shot. And then here's one more high Anheuser shot from Tom. I'd like to also add that I love that hot pink shirt. Alright, switching up to some flicks. Now, I will admit, I did not know how this was going to go. Um, I imagined myself turning this over and having this thing you know, turn into a roller. But I will tell you, stand still, low power flicks. This thing was flying incredibly straight. Here, just releasing it with a tiny little bit of hyzer. It flips up, rides straight, glides forever. Uh, one more flick from Tom. He likes it. All right, now switch it up. Take him out to the course. I threw that a little bit too flat, but not too bad. Got a lot of glide on that, great distance. And guess throw from Ridgeway. There you go. Flip up, turn, ride, and then it was fading back. Great shot. A little too much turn, but put me right there. Now this thing is absolutely money in the woods. I was having a lot of success just throwing it with a little bit of hyzer, having it flip up and ride straight directly down the fairway. Um, of course, hits a tree there at the end, but it was great till it got there. Here's a little low power flick at a short little hole to the right. And again, straight down the pipe. Thank you, Vertex. Left me for an easy tap in too. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep an eye out for these discs. New releases coming 126. Also, soft neutron particle. And don't forget, Skullboy dropping an amazing stamp on the Vertex. Special edition. Uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.